what is going on gangsters, welcome back to Jake's Journey mate and today we are getting ourselves spray foam insulation. 7.25, it is exactly half an hour after we wanted to set off. But you know what, beggars can't be choosing. Long story short, we are now currently on our way to Gloucester. Gloucester is within Gloucestershire and to be honest, it's an hour and a half drive and we're off to get the van spray foamed. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of background into why I'm not spray foaming it myself because uh, basically, if I was to spray foam it myself, on the internet, the cheapest way to do it is ordering one of the kits. And these kits, one, the main factor of it, because I wanted to do it myself, the main factor is it causes a lot of wastage. You end up with this gas bottle left over that you can't do anything with and ends up to get put in a landfill or recycled, whatever it is the hell they do with cast steel that goes into gas bottles. And I'm not about that life. And also, if I go and get matey to spray this now, it's gonna cost me between four and 500 pounds, but if I uh, spray foam it myself, then that kit is 937 pounds. F that S. So just for the sake of me making a video and being like, here you go guys, this is how you do it, and just me pulling the trigger, rather than matey pulling the trigger, it's gonna cost me 500 quid. So, nah, I'm good bro, cheers. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna have a little adventure, get ourselves down here, go and see matey, get this flip in, and then we're in a flipping good place, boys and girls, because it means we're then insulated within this beast of a vehicle, and I'm buzzing about it. And you know why I'm buzzing about it? Because you can hear in the background right now, do -do -do -do, do -do -do -do. That is what an empty L4 Peugeot Boxer sounds like, mate. And I tell you what, it's noisy. Because them back doors rattle like a motherfucker. Cue the cinematic driving sequence that everyone seems to do because it looks dope. <laughs> Laters. <laughs> Yo, so we've just got here now and uh, we're up here in a wood yard. We've got Tony in here, just lining the uh, inside of the van, masking out the bits and bobs, just so he's not spraying over the doors and uh, above the bulkhead and stuff like that. It's looking decent. I'll chuck you on a little time lapse now, just so you can see what we're getting up to, but we're just taping it out. What we're gonna end up doing here with the uh, overheads is because that's gonna get taped off and putting any expanding foam in there might cause it to swell and pop the panels. Uh, I've just grabbed some of this uh, plastic bottle insulation that's just shredded into like rock all sort of stuff and uh, I'm just feeding it into here and then I'm gonna tape over that and uh, crack on with the frame. But uh, yeah, it's going good so far. You do not know what I have in mind Our bags will be on our way Right, so Tony's just in the back now, uh, just doing the final bits and bobs, just stapling these uh, sheets that he's just put up just to stop any splashback of the foam going everywhere. All covered up. So where the cab uh, comes into the back, he's like lined down there, lined over the top. Then put a sheet in the back like this. Just means, and he's putting a floor down now, just means that when he's going around with his gun, spraying along that uh, it doesn't end up absolutely everywhere. But we've tucked everything in, all into the open bits and that, and like the little ruts that run as like support beams. I've just tucked rock wool, that insulated bottle stuff into all those, just so it's not gonna cause any dramas. And uh, yeah, that's all insulated, and then you're just gonna go over with the foam. But it's looking mint, man. Currently looking like a scene from uh, CSI Miami. Any blood splatters. If anyone needs anyone topping, just let us know and we'll, uh, we'll end them in the back of here. <laughs> just make sure all the uh, final gaps now are sorted uh, in these bits and bobs. Same, we're gonna spray over here and uh, get it all lined up. I've just packed it out at the back there. I've had to borrow a bit of rock wool off um, Tony. And uh, yeah, we're in a good place. So it's all masked out. This is how it looks. Mask off the door, max off where the bulkhead is. Uh, at the back as well, off I'll speak properly. Same with the window. And then up and down these lines and any holes that are basically in, uh, in the way. So yeah, it's looking all good, man. It's looking all groovy. Let's uh, cue the man doing his thing. Yeah, just burn it out and get, you know, you're trying to get a nice pattern. So all Tony was telling me here was that each time before he spray foams, he burns out the nozzle. This just means that he gets a nicer, more even spray. These pipes that you see here are coiled in wire and heated up, the same as the barrels. This just means if he's spraying onto a cold surface, it won't matter and it'll adhere and spread nicely anyway.
Just walked away from the uh, Jenny that's going on over there, but there she is getting done right now. So he's in the back, just giving her all a good old spray. And uh, it actually takes a lot longer to expand than I thought it would. So he's like spraying it on and it's like a really thin, like two mil coat. And then it's just slowly just sort of expanding. Like I, I know that sounds stupid. Oh, it's expanding foam jack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but um, it is actually expanding slower than I thought it would. I thought it'd be like straight on and then just boom. But no, it seems to uh, seems to really be doing the job well. This place is really cool, to be honest, where I'm cutting about now. There's like an old horse and cart and stuff up here. Check that out. Proper old school. Sweet as that. So yeah, basically just uh, waiting for him to uh, crack out this uh, jobberoony, and then uh, we can have a look inside. It does really stink in there at the minute because obviously there's a lot of chemicals um, used during this process. But once it's set, no dramas, all groovy. I'm really looking forward to getting this done, man. It's going to be so sick. So he was just telling me then the equipment that uh, he's using for it. You've got like the pipes themselves that go through this tube and on the inside of that tube, you've got copper wiring that goes around them all just to heat it up. So even when it's cold days like this, the whole unit, the big barrels that they use that's got all the chemicals in, they, um, they get heated up by this machine he's got. And then even the piping, the gun and everything like that gets heated up because without the heat, if it's a bit cold, the reaction doesn't really work that well. Basically referred to it saying that it's more like a water pistol if it's cold. But when they heat them up like that, it means it comes out, sprays perfect. And I've just watched him then. You can see from the video, it's really coming out at a rate of knots and just smashing it out, bro. So sweet as hell. Cool, innit? Got a lot of time for that. Let's keep, uh, let's keep on top. Let's see how it's going. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's looking absolutely mint. So, let's check it out. Check before you wreck, man. Oh, it's already, you know what? It's already warmer in here than it is out there. <laughs> check it out. So, we peeled it back a bit here. As you can see, that's been up there. But this stuff comes off really easily. You just pull it down and then it's back to the bits that you haven't taped. So it's really good to be honest. Uh, where can we do it? Yeah, like there. So it's got the layer on, and then there's just a bit that I peeled off uh, earlier. Here's one that I made earlier, mate. There you go. Just comes off that easy. Cool. So, what we'll do with this is just go around and uh, try and peel off as much as we can and then wrap up this polythene. But yeah, it's a mint job, man. It's great. It's not too thick, it's not in the way, and it's looking perfect. Got as much as the excess peeled off as I could and then got it all wrapped up. Had a chat with Tony and what a geezer. Till next time, mate. Right, guys, so it is the now the next day. Look forward to the next episode where we are here. Bit of woodland behind us. As it is 24 hours later, this is now uh, what they call fully set. And I swear down, if you touch the cold metal there and then touch that, mate, literally so much warmer. Um, it's like having carpet down as opposed to a cold wooden floor. Absolutely love it. Buzzing to get the diesel eater installed, get it on in here and see. I bet this place is going to be like well toasty. So absolutely buzzing with that. All I need to do now is get the doors insulated, which I'm going to do the old school sort of style that I did with the Transit Connect, which I'll link up there now. Uh, you can see how I did that. And I'm just going to get these doors smashed out doing the same thing. I'm not going to put the secondary stage in, which is recycled plastic bottle wool type, uh, wool type stuff, because I'm going to wait to put that in until... I put the boards that go over the doors to cover uh, these holes that are down low. But yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to know as soon as I upload a video. One love gangsters. See you next time. The night was long as I waited without a sign.